Hello beautiful people, how are you? I am so glad that you take this time out to join me. Join my flow on my beautiful terrace. It's not that hot today, so it's perfect. You know? Today I'm gonna do a whole body stretch sweet flow. It's gentle, it's soft, it's not that long, it's short, but it's working out our whole body. A bit of activation and mostly just stretch as always. And I am happy that you are my company. You, you are doing this yoga flow with me from wherever you are. With that being said, we all start by standing in the mat, on the mat. See you there. be standing and then just keep your body really relaxed okay it can probably be your morning or your afternoon or you've been just working and you need just a little bit relaxation release some stretch of your whole body so we will just be really relaxed here standing feel into yourself into your body for the next 15 to 20 minutes or so we will be inside our body feeling all the sensations that it will bring us take a deep inhale open the arms to the side exhale interlace the fingers behind the back of the neck uh, on the head, open the elbows up, inhale, and exhale, round over, round your back, curling, feel the stretch on the back of your neck, inhale, open, just imagine lead the motions with your elbows, open, 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 and exhale, close in three times more inhale exhale release on the back of the neck doesn't matter what time of the day it is always good to release this part of our neck so a lot of tension stored there last one open 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 and curl in Exhale. Inhale, arms extended out to the side. Exhale, bring the right arm all the way over and hold with the left elbow or with the left hand. Just press the right arm in towards the chest. Feel the stretch of your right um, triceps. Inhale, open, exhale, switch sides, stretch the left triceps. It's so beautiful. Every day I am having a yoga here and all these seagulls, they're like my company and they're so beautiful. They're, I love their sounds, you know. They used to play the bird music, bird chip music when I do yoga, but now I don't need it. I have the natural sounds from the beautiful birds. All right, open up, inhale, exhale. We'll just play a little bit. Try to bring your right arm up and left arm back. Externally rotate the left arm. I'm just gonna turn around. Try to touch the fingertips of each other, if not, you just hold with your clothes like this. If you have a towel, it's also really helpful. So either hold your shirt or try to touch the fingers. And now we are switch sides. Inhale, open, exhale, try to touch. Inhale, open, exhale, try to touch. Don't try to hold it. We will hold it at the end. Now, open, 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 
then if you can touch the fingers, try to bring them even more in. Lift the right elbow a bit up and externally rotate the left shoulders so that you create more space to hold the fingers, to hold the hands. And press the back of the neck into the elbow and elbow into the back for this counter position of positions. Don't try to arch your back because if you arch your back, you will tend to create more space, but it's not the purpose here. The purpose here is try to stretch our shoulders and our arms. All right, release, open up, and switch side. Wow, I can totally feel my arms feeling into the stretch. Mm, the sun is out so long. Press your head into your left elbow and just externally rotate the right, create more space. You cannot hold it because this side is very tight for me. So just hold the shirt, knee in the stripe, just hold on tight, on it. So now we'll inhale, open up, <sighs> exhale, release. We'll do a bit of shoulder shrugs. Inhale, shrug the shoulder up, shoulders to ears, and ex exhale, bring it front forward and drop down. So inhale, up, shoulder towards the ear, forward, down. Inhale, a little bit faster. When you bring it down, you feel like kind of shake it off, you know, like shake whatever on your shoulders burdens on your shoulders up. We'll do it do a few times backwards. When you bring it backwards also kind of like imagine pinching your shoulder blades in and open your collarbones. Now interlace the hands behind our lower back. Um, arms slightly bent, elbows close to each other, and inhale, take a big inhale, open the chest up to the sky, bring the shoulder blades in, elbows in, elbows towards each other, press the fingers down, down, down towards the floor, and micro bend the knee and hinge and hips, and so hinge forward. Still keep your hands in the legs. We'll stretch the shoulder here and also drop our head. Belly on the sides. And gently release the hands. We'll stay in this bowl fold. I think you guys probably know me a little bit better. I really love bowl fold. So bend the warm knee at a time. Just Sway your hips side to side, feel the stretch also on the IT bend. Now very relaxed, your upper body, super lazy. Okay, round your back, slowly roll yourself up. standing come to the front side of our mat we'll come into a chair pose bring the feet a little bit closer to each other okay inhale lift the arms up and bring the hip back come into a chair pose arms next to your um, ears uh with lifting stay here one one round of breaths and exhale, lift your body up, hands together in front of heart center, lift your left knee into the chest. We'll come into a bit of balance here. And inhale, exhale, bring the left foot back. We we'll come into a warrior's repose. Hands still at heart center. 
feel this long line energy from top of your crown to the end of your um, left toes. Like somebody is pulling you from the head to the toe, to, to each, each, each opposite side. Now hands on the floor. We'll, come, we'll do three rounds of Shiva squat. And you'll bring the left knee into the chest, bend the right knee as well. And so kick it out, kick it backwards. Very strong, kick with the heels. And you'll bring it in and exhale this time. See if you can lift your left foot a little bit up. Kick to the sky instead of kick backwards. Inhale, bring it in and exhale. Kick it even higher to the sky. Straighten the legs, bring it in. Last kick to the sky. And now bring the left foot backwards to the back of the, of the mat. Bring the left knee down. Lift your body up, arms up. Inhale, low lunge, square off your hips to face forward. And then dump the hip down to the mat. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the right, open arms into a T shape. Exhale, exhausted, side stretch to the back. Right hand on the left side, and left hands pointing backwards, or you can bring the left hand behind the head and open the elbows up. This helps of the opening position of the chest. Take big inhale here, exhale, left hand down to the mat instead of the left foot. <sighs> Open to the right. <clears throat> now, lift your left knee off the mat Gently bring your right foot a little a bit to the middle of the mat in front of you just for support and flip the left foot to come on the edge of the left foot. We'll come into this very variated side plank pose. For those of you who want to challenge your core a little bit more, you can bring your right foot backwards to meet the left. We'll come into an entire complete full side plank shaking 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 and now right and down we'll come into a down facing dog walk out your dogs one knee at a time feel the difference of each side and gently bring the knees on the mat and bring the hands a little bit out in front of you, a little bit far away from your chest. Bring the forehead down to the mat. Downward facing dog variation, the knee, the knees on the mat. Make sure that your hips are, uh, are stuck right above your knees, 90 degrees angle of your um, knees and your hips. Extend the arms out. It's also very similar to extended puppy pose. Now we'll come slide our body over to come onto our <clears throat> our forearms to come into a springs pose. Mm. Open, open the heart to the sky. Have a smile on your face. Dip your pubic bone down into the mat. That's ah. where your your <laughs> glutes, your butt, a little bit side to side, release any tensions in the lower back. Now from here, it's a bit challenging. I believe you can do it. Tap the toes and lift your hips off the mat. We're coming into a forearm plank pose. Stay here for three rounds of breath.
embryo feeds in or come into a dolphin pose. As in as possible and stay there. You no, know, try to reach your heels towards the mat. If you bring it too much in, then that means that you have to get on your toes. You can bring your feet a little bit far away from your forearms so that you can bring your heels down. <laughs> Suck your belly button in to create space between your chest and your thighs. And now we are lift ourselves up into a downward facing dog. And press one hand at a time to lift your forearms up. And now we'll bring the feet closer to the hands to top of our mat. And come into a forward fold. Yes, my favorite pose. Fold, fold. And just Lay your body a little bit side to side, hold the elbows, release the arms, release the neck. Mm. And we will do it on the right side now. Slowly roll yourself up, 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 up. Very lazy. One vertebra at a time. And then comes at last. Inhale. Chair pose. Hips back, knees bent, arms really lifted to the side of our ears. And hands together at heart center, lift your body up, lift your right knee into the chest. Stay here for a long round of breaths. And gently kick the right foot back into a warrior three. One long line of energy from crown to the toes. Hands on the floor, Shiva squat. Inhale, bring the right knee in, bend the left as well, and so kick it back. Inhale, bring it in, and so kick it up. Inhale, bring it in, and so kick it even higher. Inhale, last one, and exhale, kick it back, back. Back and bring the left foot, the right foot down, right knee down on the mat as well. And lift yourself up, low lunge. Adjust your, uh, your hips to be square off, facing front. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Open to the left. Arms in T shape. Inhale here. Exhale. Left hand to touch the right side, dip the hips down into the mat and stretch also on the right in the groins. Hands can be placed behind the pad for support to open up even more with the elbows. With the right elbow, open up the chest. And now swing the arm down and open up to the left side. The right toe, lift the right knee off the mat. You gaze towards the left fingers. Very strong core. Now bring the left foot in the middle of the mat for support of the side plank. Or if you want to challenge your core, then bring the left foot to mid right. Very strong core here. And lift, lift your hip also off the center a bit up to the sky so that you don't dip your weight into the right hand. Now bring the left hand down on the mat and come into a downward facing dog. <sighs> Big breath in and out. Calm your breath down. Bring the knees down to the mat, hands out in front of you. We come into this variated dog, facing dog. Dog inhale, bring the forearm down and slide your body all the way 
to bring the hips down to the mat. And we'll come into a spring pose or open glow bones. Open this throat. Dip the pubic bone down into the mat. Tap the toes. Forearms flank. As we did before, very strong core through the top legs. Legs also very strong in the groin. A little bit rounder of the upper back so that you can hold your body very strong with the core stretch. And bring the feet closer to the forearms. Dark as close. Mm -hmm. Try to reach your heels down towards the mat so you can feel this entire back line stretch. Mm -hmm. Lift yourself up into downward facing dog by one hand at a time. You will stay in this downward facing dog one big round of breaths. And bring the feet towards the front of our mat. Bring the feet mat distance wise and just bend one knee at a time. Relax the upper body totally. <laughs> now bend the left knee, straighten the right, place the left hand right beneath our gaze and open your body, peel your right arm up, open to the right side. <laughs> So nice. And switch side. Bend the right knee. Straighten the left. Not open to the left. Oh, big breath in and out. Feel this twist. We'll come back to center. Heels in, toes out. Yogi squat. Dip the hip down towards the mat. You can also bring a yoga block underneath your hips for extra support. Mm. And sit yourself down to the mat. Bend the right knee and bring the right heel closer to the glutes and place the left foot outside of the right knee. Place the right knee down to the mat. Take a big inhale, lift the right arm up and twist to the left. Bring the right elbow outside of the left knee and twist. And every time you inhale, lengthen your body and exhale, twist a little bit more. Round your upper back, open your chest. <sighs> And bring it to center or switch side. Just simply cross your legs and bring the left heel close to the right glute and the right foot outside of your left knee. Inhale, sit up and tall and lift your left arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, bring the left elbow outside of your right knee. Open up. Release, come to sit in an easy pose. With all of your mat, a final, some final rotations on our neck and our spine to finish off this flow. Uh, sit in still and take an inhale. Exhale, bring the right ear into the back shoulder. Same stretch on the left side. Also, you can bring your left fingertips out, up, 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 
try to explore something, like you try to um, find something and reach something. That can create this sensation of the stretch. You just explore, explore side, right to left. These sensations are different if you are trying to explore with your fingers. Find a spot where you feel the most juicy and stay there. Inhale, um, exhale, bring the chin to the chest. Stretch on the back of our neck. Inhale, come back to center. We'll do it on the other side. Exhale, bring the left ear into the right, left shoulder. Side stretch on the right side. Explore with the right fingertips. Trying to find something. You want to find something. And stay there if you find it. Stay in the sweet spot where it brings the most sensations. And then the chain to your chest. Maybe stretch the back of our neck and shoulders. You know, we'll just rotate our neck to the back, to the right, to the center. A few rounds. Neck rotations to the left and a few rounds to the right it's also slowly engage with your torso when you do neck rotations so that you rotate with your torso as well a bit wiggle on our spine mm -hmm. different directions. We started with very cloud, clouded sky. Now, after this flow of the sky, the clouds are all gone. So, so now, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Thank you so much for taking your time out and joining me on the beautiful terrace, um, flowing with me. And I really, really, really enjoy your presence. And if you like my flows, your like or your subscription will be appreciated. And I will see you.